Hey y'all, it's Friday. So y'all already know we in this kitchen about to what? Yeah, throw down. Gown check, gown check. Who do I see? Look at my supporters, cook it with me. Hey, hey, hey. Cook it with me. So y'all, today, oh, let me get some lip gloss because y'all, Y'all, when I tell y'all my lips have been hurting, I don't know if it's the weather, I don't know, but damn, they hurt. So I'm trying to keep it moisturized, because I ain't trying to be around here looking like um, Pookie off of New Jack City. So, so today y'all, we gonna do, as requested, a chicken Popeye. So, you are going to need two pastry puff sheets, um, like these right here, the pastry puff sheets. You're going to need um, chicken breast, olive oil, um, better than bouillon, bouillon um, creole seasoning. Y'all, I know, right? Where the Larry saw that? <laughs> I ain't using it today. But anyway, Creole seasoning, um, some thyme, some garlic powder, onion powder, minced garlic. I already have my vegetables cut up, my uh, potatoes, my celery, and my carrots. I have my frozen vegetables in there. I was just going to do peas, but I was like, I might as well just get the mixed vegetables and just toss them in there. So I got that. Let me show y'all. My vegetables. Oh. So I got these right here. Because in my chicken pot pie, I wanted to, I want all the vegetables in mine. I just didn't want peas. So this one is carrots, green beans, corn, and peas. Even though I have carrots. I'm still going to put these in there because I like my vegetables. What are you doing? You gonna come here? Ah. Nah. That's my daughter stalking me. So you're going to need your chicken breast. You're going to need a cat. Y'all, when I tell y'all, so I was talking to my daughter last night about this cast iron skillet and I knew I had one, but... She was like, um, mommy, your skillet is not supposed to look like that. You did not, what's that word? Season. You did not season your cast iron skillet. I was like, girl, it's seasoned enough. Hers is crazy nice, but I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to use mine because it's a 10 inch. Look, y'all, it ain't bad, is it? See? It's not bad, so you're gonna need a 10 inch cast iron skillet, milk, heavy whipping cream, better than bouillon, thyme, creole seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, minced garlic, pastry puffs, a chopping board, um, your vegetables, butter. Yeah, let's just get into it because y'all gonna see what I put in, so let's just do it. Okay, so let's start by start uh, setting our oven to 375 let's start by doing that while we season our chicken so right here I have the Creole seasoning the onion powder garlic powder and my pepper so we're gonna take a little oil <laughs> Oh, excuse me, y'all. So you're going to take a teaspoon of oil. And you're going to put it over your chicken. Can y'all see? Wait, let me turn y'all. Let me bring y'all up a little bit. So y'all can see a little something, something. Okay. So over my... Mom... I don't know my brush is. Okay, so let's just pour it over here, like so. And then we're gonna 
mix our seasonings together. Like that. I'm just gonna pour it. Make sure your oil is everywhere on your chicken. And we're gonna <coughs> Ooh, this cup. <laughs> Excuse me, thank you. So let's just put our seasoning over our chicken. Like so. And then um I do both sides of my chicken. I don't know if y'all do that, but I do both sides of my chicken. Let's do that there. And this is um, olive oil I'm using. I don't know if I said that. All right. The rest of our seasoning on there. And I don't think I'm going to um, cover this up. I usually cover it up with foil, but I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that today, y'all. all this seasoning up. Bam. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you. Y'all, that was a teaspoon, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon garlic powder, um, a tablespoon of the Creole seasoning, um, a half a teaspoon of the pepper, and yeah, so that's that's that for that. So we're gonna talk. Should I cover this up? <coughs> this pepper got me going crazy. Um, I'm gonna cover it because I'm used to covering it, so I'm just gonna cover it. Wait till our chicken is halfway. Well, we're gonna wait till our chicken is um, done before we move on to the um, to the filling for the chicken Popeyes. So yeah, just have all your stuff out. Your chicken should be done in like let me see what time it is. It's one fifty three. So I just come back with my chicken done and we can move on to the next step. Okay, okay. Okay, y'all, your chicken should be done. Uh, and I already shredded it. So to shred it, you just take two forks and just shred it apart. Now we're going to put um, three tablespoons of butter into your pot. And I hope this is big enough because I'm not trying to use this big one. But so three tablespoons of that. And we're going to saute it our um potatoes onions celery and carrots
gonna throw in our celery, carrots, and potatoes. with a cup of hot water. So then we're gonna put our minced garlic and yeah our minced garlic our thyme and then we're gonna start on these puffery puff pastry puffs. <laughs> okay so let y'all stuff get translucent and then um come back so we can add this other stuff. So while we letting this stuff, um, while we're sauteing this stuff, we can just go ahead and open up this pastry puff. Have your pastry in there with your skillet butter. We'll do a tablespoon of flour just to thicken it up. Size. 
of the bone in here. So, like that. I'm gonna dump it in. And add the hot water. Stir it around until it looks like a like chicken broth. So it's gonna look like chicken broth like this. Make sure it's mixed in good. I'm gonna add that. Turn our heat down so the stuff could simmer. chicken and add um, top of our pastry puff and then we'll be almost done <laughs> be back okay it should be nice and good let's pour our vegetables on top well I'm glad I cut them carrots up it wasn't a carrot in there Get you an egg and a teaspoon so you can make some egg wash. And we we'll get ready to roll this other dough out and put it on top once I fill this one up. So let me get back out and roll it out. Okay, let's fill her up. I hope all this fits in here.
that's how it looks. Now we're gonna put our pastry on top. And then toss her in the oven. Be back. Okay, y'all, so we're rolling out our pastry puff. And we're gonna put it over it, over your, over your Popeye meat. over it like that and it don't matter if it's hanging over you can cut that off or tuck it I think I'm gonna tuck mine cuz I like I want mine crusty so just tuck that in like so or tuck it inward Inward, outward, it don't matter. Especially if you like crust. Okay. So, that's how it should look. Now we're going to take our uh, egg wash. Drizzle it over it. Y'all get all the little crevices and stuff. Okay. Now you're gonna get a knife. a knife and slit slit like a X in the middle like so and then pop that mug in for about 20 minutes going to golden brown because everything is done on the inside we just wait for this crust to get done so about 15 20 minutes or until brown so let's pop that in so pretty let's turn that oven up to 400 and let's wait let's wait when it get done we're going to plate our food and see what this is all about because I'm excited for this, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited. Y'all excited? Because I'm excited. Okay, we'll meet back here in two and two. It's time! <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's see what it's looking like. Oh, y'all, so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, y'all hear sizzling? Yeah. A sizzling baby. Go ahead, diggity. A sizzling baby. Yeah, go ahead, dig. Oh, y'all, I'm geeked. I can't wait to taste it. As soon as it cool off, taste, test. Time. Y'all, 
I want to dig it in and out, but it's so hot. Y'all look, listen. Y'all hear that crust? Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, we're going to let it cool off for a minute. And then I'm going to come back and taste it for y'all. We're going to taste it together. I'll be back. Okay, she is cooled down. So let's try it. It's so crazy that I done got myself so hyped that I ain't even hungry. So, but I'm, I'm gonna taste it. So let's see. Oh, the crust is so crunchy. Banquet who? Banquet where? Y'all, this is good. I can't wait till my appetite come on. Chicken is seasoned good. That Creole seasoning is good. Crust is fire. It has a really bomb taste. It's so good. Potatoes are just right. Carrots are just right. Mm. Mm -mm. There's another one. Sorry, I ain't shed this time. It's so savory. It's so good. I stepped out my box a little bit. Try some different seasonings. Y'all, y'all wait until tomorrow when I heat this up. It might not even be tomorrow. It might be tonight. No, because it's 6 30. And I'm gonna stop eating after, but I'm gonna stop eating like at this time. So I might snack and I eat in between the night. So y'all must try. So good. Mm. I'm about to go and watch me some. I can't even eat and watch my Christmas movies. Cause I'm not even hungry, but I got tomorrow. So I want to thank y'all for coming to cook with me in my kitchen. Okay, put some more suggestions down there in the comment section and let me know what y'all want to see next. Cause like I gotta say, whatever y'all put down there, I got y'all. Somebody requested the chicken Popeye. Whoop. There it is. So, thank y'all again for coming to rock with your girl. Like, comment, subscribe, share, um, turn on post notifications. Y'all already know what to do. Y'all already know. Until next time, y'all. Until we meet up again next Friday. For the next throwing down and I gown. Happy holidays. I love y'all. And see y'all later.